Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at math. Okay, I know, math for animators. That's what it is. One very simple little math lesson. And the reason being is that in some cases, like for instance in the game engine, when you're doing some commands within Python, there's a command called apply rotation. And when you apply the rotation, you don't specify the rotation in degrees, you specify it in radians. Well, I happen to know that radians happen to be a difficult subject for a lot of students because, especially in America, you know, once you get into trigonometry or calculus, that's about it, or even algebra, that's about it for a lot of students. But it turns out that something like radians is really simple. And so if you don't know it, just bear with me because it takes just mere moments and I'll explain it to you. So I'm just going to try and draw a circle here freehand won't be a very good circle, but it is. All right, so here's our circle, and here's our x and y axis, like this. All right, here's x, got to label them, x and y. And it's, it's a unit circle. And the reason it's a unit circle is because this here is a radius of 1. That's, a ra that's 1, like there. So it'd be, right, it'd be 1 unit away from the center. All right, so that's what makes it a unit circle. All right, so we're going to use that basis for doing this lesson. So when you measure angles in mathematics, you start over here at the x-axis. So this here, between here and here, this angle from this x-axis up to here along this arc like this, the angle that it makes here, that's a 45 degree angle in here. And then here's your 90 degree angle like this, up to, up to the y-axis like that. That's easy enough. Well, so that's working in degrees. But when you work in radians, radians are not this really far-fetched, you know, out of control type system. It's actually really straightforward. All you're doing is, you can imagine this, you take this line, the a distance of one unit along here, and then you make it an identical sh size line that's vertical like this, straight up here. So say that's a one unit also like this. And if you were to take this line and lay it down onto the circle, so it was essentially wrapped onto the circle up to about there, like about this location, so I just laid it flat onto the circle, then that would define another angle, and that angle here would be like this, where the angle would now go between here and here. So no matter what this is, when you mate, when you take the equivalent length and you lay it onto the circle, it's always going to lay at this same location and always going to give you the same angle. That angle happens to be about 57.3 degrees, right? But this also happens to be one radian, all right? So we call it one radian. I'll just abbreviate rad, one radian like that. So what a radian is, it's an angle of measure, or it's the same as 57.3 degrees. And the reason this is important is because for a lot of mathematics, you, you have to use radians for, say, in finding areas of a sector or lengths. Everything's always done in radians. A lot of things aren't done in degrees. So you'd have to know where this radian is. Well, so this same angle of measure, if you did it again, it'd be somewhere like over here. And you did it another, did another one, it'd be somewhere like over here. So you'd have, that would be one radian for an angle of measure, and that would be two radians if it went all the way across to here, and that would be three radians if it went all the way to there, and if it went a little bit more around the circle all the way down to here, that would be 3.14 radians. Well, that happens to be pi. That's, so pi has a location on the unit circle, and it's right over here, all right? And so that's where that pi number comes from. And then when you hear things like pi over two, you'll see the number pi over two, pi divided by 2, that's really means, pi over 2 just means pi divided by 2. You take the value of 3.14 and you divide it by 2 is equal to 1.57. Well, basically you're saying you're taking this angle of measure of 3.14, you divide it by 2 is 1.57 radians, and it's at this location right there. It's half of, it's half of the way to pi, half of the angle of measure to the pi location. That would be pi over 2 right there. Pi over 2 radians is what it is like this. All right. So the beauty of that is that no matter how big your circle is, say I started with a larger circle like this that was out here, maybe not even a unit circle. Maybe the circle was coming around all the way like this. And then you same thing. You take this you take this distance here and you make an equivalent 
length up here. And when you wrap it onto the circle, it's going to come down here and it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be right along that same angle of measure. It's going to be 57.3 degrees along that circle when it wraps in like that. All right, so that should give you an idea. Or if you didn't get it, just watch the video again. Or I have a video called Just What is Radian that might explain it a little bit better because I use cleaner graphics. But you need it because then now, say for instance, you want to, you know, rotate something 180 degrees and you want to use that apply rotation command within Python. Well, you don't put in 180 degrees. If you want to rotate it halfway around, you put in 3.14 radians. Got it? Okay. Well, that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next lesson.